Welcome back to another episode of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, episode 1. Okay, so I think this game is actually called The Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Uh, so that's good to know in the future. But I'll probably say, keep calling it The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Since that's the name of the game on Steam and probably how it was imported into America. So we are back. Uh, my name is World Undone, and it turns out our voice <clears throat> may be coming slightly strained in this game since we have to do full voice acting. So, yeah, that may be an issue in the coming games. I'll try not to lose my voice, but on the other hand, I'm going to try and have fun voicing these characters, and those two options may be diametrically opposed. We'll find out exactly how opposed they are as we play. Ooh, I can go back with the right mouse button. That's good to know. Yeah, okay. So what the witnesses saw. Let's go. I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself. I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the... Okay, now I heard the weird noise. <laughs> I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the... Back! The cowardly little weasel. Ah, uh, we know that's not true. I was on my hands and knees, investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Well, so you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir! Affirmative, sir! That wicked... That noise is attracting me now. That wicked university cadet, sir! The cruel and unforgivable enemy! What times we live in when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day. But... But this is ridiculous! I didn't shoot anyone! Is that really true, Ryunosuke? Yes! All I did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then, when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down, and just as I was picking it up... I see, I see. Well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. There is? Ryunosuke! You must exercise your right to cross-examine the witnesses. I don't know how I just noticed this, but he has a sword. Cool. Cross-examine. Do it now! As we have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice. Certainly, the testimony the court has just heard eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict. Hi! <laughs> I have an objection. What in the name of the Emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am. <clears throat> I mean, the defense. Demand its right to a cross examination. 
dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The Hachimaki headband boy next door told me to do it. How pathetic. <laughs> huh? How do you know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross-examination? <laughs> I love how shocked <clears throat> our main character is at the um, Kaz Kazuma's actions. The defense is asserting its right to a cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. Ooh. Kazuma is so commanding. Swoon. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witness. Witnesses. Alright, this is where the battle really begins, Ryunosuke. But... I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies in the witness's statements. How? Well, you didn't fire the gun, which means what that soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but... It's just a case of proving it, and the key to doing that is evidence. Right, evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now see, I already know what that evidence is and where to present it, but we have to go along with the tutorial. Now let's go, Ryunosuke! Don't let them beat you! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I love the uh, commanding that uh, Kazuma does compared with Ryunosuke's. Very cute. All right then, it's all or nothing. All right, I've already voice acted this, so I won't voice act it anymore. He was eating beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Uh, so, I wonder what happens when I press. Uh, why aren't you saying anything? Is this some new interrogation technique? I hadn't actually thought of what I wanted to ask. Just ask about anything that catches your attention. Anything that bothers you. Alright then, um... <laughs> this beef steak you mentioned. What kind of food is that? Tension! Beef steak is a delicious cut of veal, vigorously cooked on a cast iron grill and served piping hot. Oh. If food could receive medals of honor, Beef steak would be almost as highly decorated as a cutlet. Okay. Right, I see. Um, thank you, sir. So, next question. This cutlet you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Tension! Cutlet is a delicious cut of veal tossed in breadcrumbs and deep fried in cooking oil. Accept your guilty verdict, atone for your crimes, and when you're released from prison, try it. Yes, sir. I will, sir. On the double, sir. Sorry to interrupt, but how about trying to stick to questions that are relevant to the case? Oops. Sorry. I'll do my best. So, next question. Is it just me, or do you keep hearing a sort of, wah, crying noise? Yeah, I hear it. Negative! Well, at least we've learned that he's a big beef lover. Affirmative. It's not easy knowing what questions to ask. Myself! Oh yeah, I don't need to do the voice acting here. Hmm. Do I press him on this? I already know what to present. Mm. Uh, we won't, we won't bother. 
At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. Yeah, okay. So now we should be able to present some evidence. Uh, well, really, either of these should work. So, uh, yeah, let's present this one. Hi. Awkward. What? What are you playing at, cadet? What is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting this wad of papers in my mustache. In... Inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes. <laughs> God, there's a clear inconsistency here. What nonsense. What can this document possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well... Obviously, that, um, I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Hmph. <laughs> I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Hmm. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be any more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at the post-mortem report presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Iesa Nosa. Yes, sir. What, sir? The statement you just made was this. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed a crime with my own military grade eyes, sir. But no, that just can't be. And why not, cadet? Because, 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 as it is clearly stated in the post-mortem report, fatal hemorrhage from pectoral ballistic trauma, no exit wound, bullet did not pass through the body. The photographic print of the victim clearly shows the same thing. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? Ooh. Um. Excuse me? Why do you have a baby in your back? Well, er. Uh, <laughs> what? The... what was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. This is a kangaroo court. Certainly, there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. <laughs> the moment I heard the firearm, my eyes were firmly fixed on the delicious La Carnival steak, sir. So, what's up with the baby? What? The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Iesa Nosa, did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Uh, that's... that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. 
<laughs> yeah. There's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial, just from that one discrepancy. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about, title drop. But, but I definitely saw him. That university cadet there, he was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back. But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either? Myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. Treasure? Whoa, oh, excuse me? Suddenly I feel like I'm being attacked by someone with a broken beer bottle. Indeed, the Hoi Era Koban, my prize coin. On each occasion when I visit that restaurant, it is my habitude to place in my bosom pocket a particular trinket of interest from my shop, Rasute. In the hope of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you? On the day under scrutiny, it was to the military man that I proffered my Hoi treasure. Believe that he would purchase such a rare find, I did not. Okay, Yoda. But I was presented with little alternative. And then, after averting my eyes for the briefest of moments. <laughs> okay, I, I can't completely effectively voice act with such fantastic animations. After averting my eyes for the briefest of moments, it was there no more. It simply vanished. The Koban vanished? Hunting around under the table, I was, in case mayhap it had fallen there, and then it happened. You heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did, but I heeded it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded hoy treasure. Nothing could distract me. Out of interest. Did you find the coin in the end? No. Hmm, I see. That lamentable day, the precious Hoi Koban was lost to me. No doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. Hmm, could it have been the baby? As I am sure everyone present is aware, this case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels it must be to the British, damn Kazuma, it would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Hmm. What is your position, Prosecutor Auchi? <laughs> Worry not, Your Excellency. The defendant may have fled a tiger. Okay. Hold on. Let me read what is going on here. I don't know what that means. The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. My witnesses have further testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant, Ryonosuke Naruhodo. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? 
I remember this sprite from uh, Maya. She was a big fan of this expression. Very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegation. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko glass, your excellency. Yes, sir, at once, sir. Awaiting <laughs> signal to testify, sir. <laughs> I gotta... I gotta get over this baby. It's killing me. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative. The newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name, Ido. Adorable. Hmm. It would seem those straps are a sign of the sergeant being too strapped to afford a nanny. Ido. Tension. <laughs> Your father is about to quell the enemy. Watch and learn, my boy. <laughs> That's so cute. The true culprit. Hmm. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes. Pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was, that young lad in black. That my, I, that much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. Hmm, these testimonies are certainly compelling. Wait, that's... that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. What is going on? I think there's something more to this case than, uh... Because everyone doesn't really want to meet my eye here. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, Council? Oh. Okay. I see what the uh, thing is here already. Now, of course, the game's gonna have to um, go a little further, but I noticed that he didn't eat much of his steak uh, before he was shot. As can plainly be seen, there is only one place set. Certainly. Based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Ugh, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. Okay, it's been entered into the court record. A bottle of carbonated water and a steak lunch can be seen on the victim's table. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that no one else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. There definitely is more to this trial. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I, I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witness testimonies we have just heard leave no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I... 
Takasuchi Auchi will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires is an honor. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule! Stand tall, Ryunosuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth in your cross-examination. I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses, but make it quick. Understood? Rules can be so unbending at times. <laughs> All right, so I think I can figure this out. Da, 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 da. It's almost the same thing. Pointing his gun at the foreign man. Alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. So let's take a look at the evidence we have here. Let's examine this. Hmm. Magnifying glass? Oh, uh -huh. this is probably going to become useful at a later point in time. But we're going to go back. So let's examine this photo as well. Hmm. I may not have as solid as a case as I assumed I did. I may have to press some of these. Uh, okay, let's examine this thing here. Okay, so this means entrance, this means kitchen. So I want to compare these two. Has some been eaten? Boy, it sure seems like it has. Yeah, it has. All right. I don't think I have any other choice than to present this as evidence. But I will go back and save, because... Oh, wait, what? No. Uh, how do I save? Here we go. Uh, save and save often, as we know. Uh, so... I'm going to present this photograph. Let's see what happens. Well, what about that last statement made by the witness? Uh oh. It seems perfectly reasonable to me. Exactly! Perfectly reasonable in every way. Perhaps you should take a leaf out of the witness's book and learn to be more reasonable yourself. Uh, all right, I just need to calm down and think everything through again from the start. All right, I think we need to start pressing people. Okay, so he's got to tell me to um, press them. What do you think, Ryunosuke? Uh, um, oh... Kind of a hot pose, not gonna lie. What's the matter? I can't find anything. I can't find a clear discrepancy anywhere. I'm done for. I can't win this trial. No, 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 no. Oh wait, no, that was Ryunosuke. This guy seems more like a Ryunosuke. That's the problem. Listen, the first thing to do is calm down. You can't expect witness statements to be full of holes every time. So just take your time and try to tease more information out of them first. What do you mean? You can choose to either press or present against each of the witness's statements. If a witness is saying something you're suspicious about, press him on it with Q. 
with a little luck, you may get more details, which could prove to be crucial. Right, I see. The important point is, there's no sense in holding back. If anything even slightly jars with you, press the witness on it and press them hard. Alright, got it. I'll press them <laughs> like blocks of tofu. The professor wasn't alone in the restaurant, I'm sure of it. In one way or another, this cross-examination is going to prove I'm right. It's time to press them for all they're worth. My fate depends on it. Okay, so... Press. No, no, no! It's not the same thing at all! For a start, I didn't fire that gun. We have a difference of opinion on that. The opinion of a uniformed officer versus that of a fledgling cadet. Um, I don't think so. Consider this, defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it is an undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Uh, have what? Tension. <laughs> the sound of the firearm rang in my ears, and the very next moment, I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you? Grrr. And let us not forget that the antique dealer witnessed the accused in this most incriminating position as well. Isn't that so, Korokuta-san? Korekuta-san. Uh, Korekuta? Uh, Q. There we go. Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun at that point in time, but I've told you already, that's only because I picked it up off the floor. Well, obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it away. I just finished drinking my coffee, and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. And at exactly that moment... A gunshot rang in my ears. <laughs> Full of events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which precipitated this testing predicament. Whereas conversely... I failed to pick up the caban from the floor, and find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. I feel like... it's not equally testing. I feel like I'm being tested a bit harder. Anyway, the fact remains. Myself, I did see you. With pistol in hand, standing over the foreigner. Okay... So let's press this. You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. Oh boy, sorry. As you have been at pains to point out time and time again, I feel as I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Uh, if only there had been more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know. Of course the place is almost empty. It's what you'd expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day, and why he was alone, but he wasn't. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? Oh, 
This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Council? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm, Hotta Clinic. Yes, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm, the very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder... What do you think, Ryunosuke? Hmm? Well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence, if you think it could be useful. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report to be submitted as evidence or not? Of course. <laughs> he raises his hand. If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Uh... The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Whether or not they are of concern is for us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I, I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. Youngsters these days are forever asserting their quote-unquote rights. It's a most disturbing trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. I see. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. Hmm, you can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you'd like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. What does that mean? Or perhaps you'd forgotten that these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Korekuta-san. Okay, so let's take a look at R. Uh, things. Wait, hang on. I could have sworn I was able to examine stuff before. Okay. Uh, in this case, there's nothing I can examine here. Okay. So I really can't examine this? That's grim. Okay, 19th of November, shortly after 2 p.m. Okay. Hmm. Wait, did I look at the back of this? No, I guess I didn't. But I don't know how to. Hmm. Is there a way at all? Uh, no, nothing. All right, well, let's press him on this. So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone. Hmm, did you? That I did. Forgive me for the position I place you in. 
So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget the incontestable evidence we have to support their statements as well. As can clearly be seen, there is only a single beef steak on the victim's table, a meal for one. No. The antique stealer, the sergeant, and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Okay, we'll try to press him on this. Hmm. That's an interesting angle. Why aren't you telling the truth? What, what did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. was a woman. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Aha! Unfortunately for you, Defendant Naruhodo, it's not just a case of those two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right. Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. <laughs> Excellent work, Ryunosuke. We've gleaned some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. I, I tried to look at it myself. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How, exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Press space and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. Okay, now we can use the arrow keys. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using WASD, Okay, I'm looking. You can move the crosshairs around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. If the crosshairs start to pulsate, press space to investigate further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learnt by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I need to use, uh, stuff to inspect any areas of the evidence that look suspicious. Okay, so, we've got that. Medical report card required for every visit. Okay, so it highlights the, um, translation. So, let's hit space, I guess? Oh, cool. Now we get some 2D models. It says Hota Clinic on this medical report card. I hate clinics, almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. 
Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life. Excuse me? And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. Urgh. I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Most people would give their right arm to have only one cold in their whole life. Great point. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people for illnesses like that. Let's keep looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Alright, I thought that might have been mostly unimportant. Oh, it's a dentist. Interesting. So we can probably open it. Let's examine this first. It looks like this medical report card was first issued... Quite some time ago. Hmm? It's probably a record of long-term treatment, that's why. With a family doctor, I'd imagine. Well, I can't imagine. Going to a doctor, I mean. As long as I'm alive, I'm never consulting one. What is wrong with you? Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So you don't like doctors, then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible tasting medicine, they give you painful injections, and then they demand lots of money for you, for, me, for the privilege, all when you're at your lowest ebb. <laughs> what is up with you? You sound like a model patient. With a bad case of stubbornness, no less. For which the only cure is very bitter medicine indeed. How poetically uh, said. So what is this? Well, we can't examine it. It's just cool. Okay. So, let's take a look. I don't, I don't think we have to examine all these separate entries, but I'll examine this one. Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Huh, topical anesthesia, huh? Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he'd had a bad tooth removed. Why would he be eating steak? Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. I <coughs> forgot that this takes place in Victorian times where they don't have the cool, the cool stuff yet. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you from feeling pain. Ah, there's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthesia effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Okay. Excellent. There we go. Now, I could have gotten this earlier if the game had let me, but I understand. It's the tutorial. The meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Oh wait. What was that last one? Dining all by himself. How do I go back? Okay. How do I skip text here? Come on. Skip this text, please. Alright, I'll just cut this out. So can I use the arrow keys here? No, I can't. Uh, can I use WASD? Yes! Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I understand how the game works. Okay, pointing his gun at the foreign man. That has nothing to do with the meal. Okay. So now we have it. Oh, shoot. No, we don't. Okay, cut this out. Alright, we're back. Uh, still learning the controls here. And unfortunately, this text is very difficult to skip. Uh, is there any? No. Right, so... Uh, now we should be able to present. 
God, it's so lame. Uh, uh, well, I think, uh... About what are you wittering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could... I wish I could. But first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Ryunosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Uh, is that right? Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. Mm, if you say so. Alright, and thanks for the advice. Kore Kuta-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Oh, I see. And, uh, I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement... <laughs> something clearly doesn't add up. Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurist drivel. But... Let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. Uh, but... But that's... Um... Remember, Ryunosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There is surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm... The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all. For the simple reason that... There is no one else besides this pale-faced pupil. Oh. Nice! Finally! Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard the actual table slap? Beautiful. This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hota Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted? What's this now? And furthermore... If I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating? J just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat? So what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that... <laughs> that can't. Korekuta-san! What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more? You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. Because the victim, as we now know, had just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of anesthetic. <laughs> Eat it. Expertly done, partner. What? What is this nonsense, you little upstart? 
These are baseless, baseless, ba uh, blah, blah, blah. baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. <laughs> Fantastic line, Kazuma. Wouldn't you agree, Ryunosuke? Hmm? Yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beef steak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that means me, doesn't it? Ha ha ha. Alright, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of you turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... Uh, an as-yet-unknown third party. Yeah. Obviously, it could only have been someone else who's sitting at the professor's table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person. Oh, yes, there was. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was someone else there eating it. Uh -huh. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma? God, that's hot. Are you insane? Y you would take on the government? Don't worry, Counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. Those two witnesses in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury. And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit in murder? No! It's classic. Hold, hold it? Negative! There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting! I was just following orders, yeah. See how that helped in Nuremberg. That's right! As the man says! Just say you never saw the gentlewoman! That's what they... Uh, um... Told... Us... Oh... What? What did you just say, Korukuta-san? Oh, um... No! <laughs> you were just following orders? Now hold on, lad! I was, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman? Uh... When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? What is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Interesting that the prosecutor didn't tell him to do it. Just one. 
Just one simple slip of the tongue! Order, order. Council, explain what is going on here. It's painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. <laughs> then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouths shut? Well, um... That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... you wouldn't... This can't be happening. Ryunosuke. Judging from the way they're reacting to this... I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However... I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. I bl I agree with you, Kazuma. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there were only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or... or the police, I suppose. Well, any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly? Remember how we made progress before? Before. We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please. Wait, Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god. I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this, hmm? Uh, well, Your Excellency. Ugh, no time to think. I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes into my head. Which is... Hmm, besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... Huh. Probably the head waiter. If I had to guess. And I do have to guess. And I'll be guessing this on the next episode. We'll find out whether my guess is right then and there. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to give my voice a little bit of a break and then go on to <laughs> film the next episode. So until then, I... Yeah, I, I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, this has been World Undone. Take care until next time.